Hello guys, in this video we're going to be um, running the descriptive statistics on our data set that we created with the variables she made. Uh, specifically we're going to be doing just the nominal data in this video. So let's go. Now there's, like most things, there's a million different ways to do this and I'm just going to show you one day, but feel free to use another way that works well for you. Uh, so first things first, we've got to make sure that every single column is labeled. Uh, and that is, so I've got the color number, then I've got the name of the color, and we did that using the VLOOKUP, and then I've got the bloom number and then the, the name of the bloom uh, that we did with VLOOKUP. Uh, and we're using the data set with Xenias that we created in the last couple videos. Uh, but you'll be using the data set that you created. So to do this, first thing we're going to do is highlight these two nominal columns. All four columns of them. All, we'll highlight the two variables, all four columns. So the number column, the descriptor column, the number column, the descriptor column. And then we'll do insert then you want pivot table, then it'll auto-populate this box with your selection, and then you want to choose new worksheet, and click OK. And this gives us a, the pivot table editor. We'll click on color text. Now see, this is important why we had each of those columns labeled, because it's easy to see what we're doing with it here. So we're going to highlight color text, and then um, check the box there, then click and drag that also down to values. And right now you can see that at Easy Cheese, um, counted up how many orange instances, how many pink, and how many white. Right there. All right, so then uh, we're going to manipulate this a little bit, and then we'll pop it over into a, to Word and make our APA format a table. So first things first, I like to get it out of the pivot table without destroying the pivot table, because we'll come back to that here in a minute when we do the second variable. So I'll copy that data, go over here, do paste special values only. There we go. Uh, so this is our frequency. And then the next column will be percent. And I know that I need to report frequency and percent for nominal level variables because I checked out the cheat sheet posted in Canvas. It's uh, measures of central tendency um, cheat sheet uh, that's posted there. And so we'll do frequency uh, and then percent. And of course, percent equals the count divided by the sum of all counts. Close parentheses, and it times 100. And push enter. And then uh, I want to do that for all of the variables. But if I click and drag it down, as we know, it'll slide down all the references, and that'll, that won't be right. So I'll highlight that, click F4, that'll lock that reference in. Then I can highlight that cell in and drag it down. Now I realize I'm going pretty fast through this, guys, but um, I don't want to bore you guys with the boring stuff. So if you get lost, you can always stop the video and go back. Uh, but there's no sense in belaboring this any more than we need to. And then, so the next thing is we need to make this a consistent number of decimal places. Generally, the tradition for percentages is to report to two decimal places. But as the head researcher on this project, you can you can just kind of decide what you want to do with that. And then, so you have it. We have the frequency and the percent for our three blossom types. And then we'll highlight this, copy it, Control C, open up a blank Word doc, and we'll paste it. Uh, now we're just going to create the uh, APA formatted table with our descriptive results for the normal variables. First step, I like to um, click on layout and then do view grid lines because that'll show me what I'm working with. Then we'll click on that and right click on the table and then do auto fit to window. Next step, we'll insert a row above and put in our table title. Uh, the temptation is to put the table title above the table in the text, in the body of the text, which is great, and in 99% of times that'll work just fine, but when you go to get your research published and you send that to the editor, uh, editors uh, love to lose table titles if they're not in the top of the table. Uh, so be sure and put that in the top of the table. And then the title of this will be Bloom Color and Type. And then that title, of course, you know this from last week, needs to be italic. And then um, we'll need to put this all in the same font. It matters very little what font you put this in, but because Excel and Word both use different default fonts, um, you have to pick one uh, because they're different. Uh, next thing, we'll merge these two together, the top row. And then add a space there. And then, according to APA rules, every single column needs a title or a header. So for this one, this will be color. And then, as this is a subset of color, we'll need to bump that in a little bit. Generally, you want every single... Um, you want all uh, titles to be capitalized in Excel. So after we get this bumped over, uh, while it's highlighted, we'll push Shift F3, and that'll capitalize the first word first letter of each of those. And then these dudes, frequency percent, need to be centered, need to be italic. 
uh, percent, since it has the same number of decimal places, we can just center it. Then frequency, since it doesn't have the same number of places, we'll need to put in a decimal tab. Decimal tabs over here on the left, it's the upside down T with a dot, and you can get to it by just cycling through them. You click on them, then you go up to the ruler with that, with your text highlighted, you go to the ruler, click, and pop in the decimal tab to control L, and that'll make it left align with the decimal tab. And then if you want to change it, you can you can change it. And there you have it. Uh, next thing we need to put the N up here. We had 30 cases total, so that'll be capital N, 30. Okay, looks good. Next step, uh, we will run the same data for bloom type. So go back to here, go back to our pivot table. Let's erase this data, we don't need it anymore. And then we can click on the pivot table, and without changing much, we can put in bloom type. So I unchecked color, checked bloom type text, drag it down to values, and right there, without trying too hard, there you have it. So then, let's copy paste this out of there. That's control C and control V. Then I want to do values only. And then, so that's frequency, so we want to do percent. So of course percent is going to be that value, divided by the sum of these critters times 100. And then I want to drag that down. Before I drag it down, I can, I, um, I want to lock in that value. So I'll highlight it and do function 4. Drag that critter down. Because I'm a little bit paranoid, I always like to check these. So you can highlight those. You want those to add up to 100. And you look down here, the sum of those three cells is 100. So now we're doing something right. Then I'll highlight that and get the same number of decimal places. And there you have it. Okay, copy this critter. Go back to Word uh, and paste it. Oop. And then, so this will be bloom type. Then I need to shift F3 that to get that capitalized. That lined up right, that lined up right. Okay, we are cooking. Next step, we need to put in the borders. As you know, APA tables are going to have three borders, generally. Uh, so first we need a horizontal border under this one. And then we need a horizontal border at the bottom. And then down here, opening oh, another border here. And then we need to insert a line. Because this dude needs to be down here keep it linked with the colors, and this will be called a flower parameter. And then this one is an extra line, so we'll get rid of that. Oops. Put a bottom border in here. Uh, and then, as you know from the cheat sheet post on Canvas, the correct measure central tendency to report for nominal data is going to be mode. And so we need to do something with mode to designate that as, um, just tell our reader what that is for this data set. So we're going to type note in the row directly underneath the table, within the table. The note's going to be italics. And then uh, we'll put mode in bold. And then we can come up here and designate our modes. So be that one and this one. Of course, the mode is the most frequently occurring data point or option in your data. And then before I call a table done, I like to click on the table, click on layout over here, view grid lines to get a print view. And it looks looks all right. Okay, so I'll save this critter and I will post it in Canvas. If you have questions, be sure and let me know. Until the next video. Good luck.